Welcome back everybody, this is OG Gaming, and today man, we're back here with a different video. Uh, I had a viewer reach out to me, um, cleaning, a, what a, how do I clean my, my Alienware RAW R6? I had to think about that one for a minute. Well, a disclaimer, um, the method that I use is not for everybody. And uh, so keep in mind that I'm no expert in cleaning. I am no expert in, in being a technician, nothing. So everything I do here is how it works for me. I got to adjust the camera, folks, just a little bit more. <laughs> okay. And what I use is a lot of people complain about me using compressed air. Well, I've been using compressed air since I got my PS3. Matter of fact, when I got my PS1, 2, and 3, and I use it on the 4, and I use it on my gaming computer, which is down there. So let's see if I can get you to look at it. There it is. I got it somewhat open. And uh, so the whole thing is to, this is how I clean it. Now, I added a new member of the family cleaning. Here we go. Got this at the 99 cent store, a pack of different sizes. I find this one to be the best for me, for the cleaning that I do. And uh, here's my 1070 GTX graphics card, founder edition. These are much expensive than the, than the other ones that have the two fans. I don't know why, but just so you know, that's a 1070. Wait, get it? Get it? That's just joking, dude. Anyway, it has RBG lighting on the side, turns green. And basically what I do here, I get this brush. My wife says this is a blush brush. Go figure that out. And all I do is when it's coming to the card, I just kind of just, you know, get into the, the, into the fins here and just try to take as much as I can off. Because, you know, even though you use this, still not doesn't still get all of dust off. So that's one way. And um, what I did was, um, all right. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So I just used the, the brush, as you can see, to get into the fins of the graphics card. And uh, now, you know, I'm going to show you something. i got to tilt the camera down real quick here. As you can see, that is a 650 coarse air power supply fan. Um, I have an N.2 put in there. And, um, you know, the original one that comes with the Alienware, it's usually just all silver case. And, uh, but as you can see, I almost hurt myself. Ouch. Um, the power supply fan. And what I do is, the, you know, it's, it's a basic cleaning. You know, there's nothing, it's, it's nothing really ordinary. Uh, I use, I use the, 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 the brush here to get on those little caps. I don't know what they call them, but they look like, they're, you know, they're little caps. I just dust them off. And then I dust off what I can with this, and uh, I don't remove no rams. I don't want to in a great while. I'll take off the the CPU fan and clean that out and put that back in there. And uh, uh, other than that, it's pretty much simple stuff, bro. Bros and girls. See, as you can see, I know this is a ghetto. Is it still ghetto right now? It's, I gotta continue being ghetto. See, I just basically just dust all this stuff off you know and I, I'll do a better job than what I'm doing what you see me now but I just dust off everything with uh, with the with the dust the, the, the brush and then I just finish it off with the can and as far as the fan goes because I got a front airflow fan and I dust that off and then the one on top the exhaust I do the same it's pretty much all the same thing I do it once a month. I get people telling me, why, why are you cleaning it so much? I says, well, because if you watch the video, you'll know why. I live in a high desert. It's dusty and windy all the time. 
Right now it's calm. There's not a breeze in right now. But later it's going to pick up like it always does. Um, nothing special here. Just regular can of dust off. That's what I use. And uh, I had, like I said, the power supply fan put in. I had an M.2 put in. And uh, I reached out to this guy named Kerry Holzman. I would leave his name and of his channel, his YouTube channel, in the description box. And you can stop by and, and uh, go ahead and uh, join the chat. He, he, uh, he's relocating his studio. He's, he's been filming at his home. And, and uh, so now that he's, he's got his stu studio up and running, he's just got, he's doing the fine tuning up, trying to get it 100% ready for his, uh, for his work. And this guy, he's, uh, he's a technician by trade. He's been building computers, I say, close to nearly 30 years. And I, I don't know how I came across his channel. I was just channel surfing one day on YouTube and I came across his channel and he was working on, on computers. I watched him for about a good year, and I said, I'm gonna to subscribe to his channel, because this guy is a teacher. He has hundreds of videos, how to um, build a PC, whatever, troubleshooting PCs, whatever the problem it might be, he has a solution and an answer for it. He, this is, he does it for a living. And if you watch him, you'll see that this guy is not just like, I don't want to knock down any big YouTubers. I'm not here to do that. Um, but I'm trying to think of some names. There's a lot of enthusiasts that are out there on YouTube. And they want to, they're all into overclocking and, and uh, stuff like that. And custom water loops. Oh, they all look sweet. They look nice. But, you know, he does not overclock. He, he, don't, he doesn't see a point of doing it, you know. And, um, I don't know, you know, it causes the heat, the rise in the system, you burn out your parts faster, and, you know, he's, he's a non-sponsored uh, YouTuber, not worried about sponsorships, and if they come, they'll come, if not, if not, they don't, but what makes his channel stand out among the other channels is he sits there and he teaches you step by step how to build. He doesn't show videos like, I'm going to build a PC, and he builds it and overlaps, you know, and like, builds a complete. How are you supposed to learn how to do, build a computer if he's not going to teach you, you know, step by step? But I'm not knocking, the other, I'm not knocking those other YouTubers, uh, but because they do have videos where they actually do show you step by step. Uh, but this guy does it all the time. Now, so what I ended up doing, how I got to... The power supply because I'm no savvy. I, I made it very clear in the beginning of the video that I am no expert, no tech, nothing. I don't want to, if I feel that I, I don't want to start something and I can't finish it. It's embarrassing to me to, oh, I'm going to try this, you know, and, and then I can't fix it and I got to send it to a shop. You know, that's embarrassing. And uh, so what I did is I reached out to him. Um, we had a short conversation, about a 20-minute conversation on the phone, what I wanted to do. And so I sent my computer to his house. He lives in Arizona. And so we put the power supply, put an M.2. And um, I had the 460, and it was running the 1060. I mean, it was uh, running the 1070 I had in here. And it had, it had a little, I didn't have a whole lot of headroom, you know. Um, so if I wanted to upgrade my card, I couldn't, there was no way because there wasn't enough power to run. If I wanted to run a, a, a 10, 1080, it just wouldn't run it, you know, maybe I can get away with it with the 1080, but if I want to go to 1080 Ti, forget it. It's not going to be enough power. So I sent my computer to him. He worked on it and, uh, I reached out to him, like I said. And I got my computer back. It's much faster, and I had no problems. And what he does, you know how you get your you get your PC right, and you you, you get you get your PC from the like Alienware, and uh, they they have all these registries. You know, they, they just bombard you with stuff that you don't even need. And so what he does, he 
he installs windows and he gets all the bad stuff out and just keeps what's basically running. He he, he does the optimize. He does a, a, a Windows 10 optimizer, something like that. If I'm pronouncing it right, but he gets all the junk out. And just the other day, I matter of fact, it was yesterday. I plugged it in and it wanted me to let them. You know, we we still got to do a few tuning up to your PC, and I just hit later. I'm not interested in all that junk. All this other stuff, third third party stuff, you know, I just don't need it. And it could the box your computers with a bunch of junk that you don't need, but Microsoft feels that you need it and I say no. But anyway, folks, I know you guys did not see me clean my PC, but all I do is spray my graphics card, the brush, I do hit the 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 motherboard with this is very soft so it's not going to ruin anything so i just dust everything off and then on the bottom tray you, you can see i got the, the hard drive trays and i just dust around there with the brush my blush brush and, and then i just finished off with the can just blasted with the, the, the can of spray um i i got to clean it once a month otherwise it's just going to be you know, dirty as heck, and I don't want to spend three hours cleaning my PC. And why spend that much time cleaning your PC when it's not even a custom loop? This is just a regular air fan cool. That's it. Simple stuff. There's no liquid cooling in it, you know. And even that, if I had a liquid cooling, I would still be cleaning it once a month. I wouldn't have not a big thing about it. But if you find this video helpful and I hope somebody might get some help from it but if not thanks for watching like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one later guys